50,000 rarely seen archival photos from North Carolina Central University being released for the whole world to see. Yeah, and they're doing so through a partnership with Getty Images. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth explains this new partnership and how they're working to educate people in the digital age. It's not a hard process. Okay. Inside the James E. Shepard Library at North Carolina Central University, important pieces of history are being scanned one by one. And I'm seeing the past because we're in 2023, but it's interesting to see photos from 1960, 1950 um, about black excellence and black intelligence and celebrating um, education among our community. These are all historical photographs rarely seen to the public until now. Last year, the school announced a partnership with Getty Images. They're digitizing some 50,000 photographs housed in the school's library. This photo has metadata on it, uh -huh. so because of that, we can also scan the back as well, too. Alejandro Ibrahim is a senior at NCCU majoring in history. He works at the university archives and is among the team digitizing these photos. He told me every time he scans a photo, he's learning something new about history. Sometimes we'll talk about, oh, this famous person came to Central, but we also have people here that help um, fight for the liberation of our people and still are till today. And so I think that's important. Andre Van is the coordinator for the NCCU archives. He can name a number of notable people who stepped foot on campus over the years. The great Dr. Helen G. Edmonds, who was a noted um, African-American woman historian. Um, the great Dr. John Ho Franklin as well. Uh, but then there are also uh, lots of students and first generation um, um, students who came through here, um, like Julius Chambers, first chancellor, um, who argued the famous Swan versus Mecklenburg decision, um, the great Maynard Jackson, um, first uh, mayor of Atlanta. Van says all of these photos tell a story. It was important to, um, from a strategic standpoint of view, to, um, to try to find a way to just kind of really elevate up um, the stories and narratives and just kind of offer, um, I think for us, largely a new way uh, to sort to cast African American life in history. Educating people through the lens. In Durham, Bray Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News.